Okay, so this video is going to be how to whiten the eyes um, when they are bloodshot or irritated or anything like that just really is distracting from the photo. Now this particular client um, came in with irritated eyes. She's had allergies and some itching and stuff like that. So they were pretty red when we started, but I definitely feel like the tape slid up a little bit and probably um, rubbed her eye. I messaged her this morning to see if everything was okay. She said that it was, redness was all gone. So that was great, um, but they are very red and not very pretty. So I like to um, usually start out smoothing, but I'm gonna back up. Uh, most of you would normally go for whiten, and we're gonna whiten and see kind of how that looks. I'm gonna show you why it's not the best option. So whiten only works when there is a white part of the eye. If you see where the vessels are really red, it won't whiten over that redness because it's not registering that that is a white area that needs to be brightened. Um, whiten tends to brighten the white, not like, make it white if that makes sense so you can kind of see what it looks like it looks better but not like great it's still really rough looking so i don't like to whiten right off the bat um i i tend to like to take a couple extra steps before that so pop out of that and go into smooth i like to smooth over the white of the eye it kind of blurs the vessel a bit and makes it a little less prominent um, so I smooth the whole white section of the eye and kind of lessen the dramatic impact <laughs> that the uh, blood vessels that are red and kind of irritated can have. Um, you can kind of see, you know, that I, right now I'm going in and kind of cleaning up. I accidentally smooth, smooth the eye, but, um, or smooth the colored part of her eye. So you can see the difference. So now I'm gonna come in. I don't usually go in with whiten, but I am in this case gonna do it just to kind of show you what we can achieve and what we can't achieve. So even though we smoothed and kind of lessened the impact of the blood vessels, you can still see that, yeah, whiten is making the eye whiter, but it's not whitening the red section of the eye. It's still leaving that section red. So we'll leave whiten. And now I'm gonna go in and I will show you kind of what more we can do. So we're gonna go in with tone, which is kind of my preferred uh, method of whitening the eye. And you're gonna press and hold on a section of the eye that looks the whitest, and then deposit that color by brushing over. So you can kind of see how now the redness is becoming white. And it's because we pulled this color from the white part of the eye and now we're kind of brushing it over smoothly. Sometimes I tap um, just to kind of do it slowly because if you drag your finger, it's going to leave a very predominant mark of that color. Um, sometimes it looks really unnatural and weird. So you just kind of press and hold. You can see the difference there. Um, press and hold where you want the color and then deposit it. And you can really get a nice natural effect because you're pulling that color from the eye. The color is already there. It's not, um, white and can sometimes leave like this really weird white color. So sometimes you're choosing tone because maybe the eye has a slightly blue hue in the lighting that you're in or whatever it may be. Um, it's just not a true white. And so it can give you a little bit more of a natural look. So um, I press and hold to pick color up from different parts the eye usually and then I just kind of go into detail I zoom in zoom out kind of see what I'm dealing with what I like what I don't where I want more color um, and where I don't I do this anywhere but for now we're just doing the eyes so um, I'm gonna go in and whiten down on this waterline just a little bit but you can see that it's different than hitting the white button so um, you really get a I feel a better and more natural looking color when you use tones instead of whiten. And you can't get rid of that redness with whiten. You really need to go into tone and pick a tone out of the white part of the eye to get rid of that that redness, get rid of that redness. So then I go back in and I smooth again. Um, and again, I smooth because it lessens the impact of those vessels. They're not as like sharp and crisp and noticeable. They're still there, which I think is important. It's an important part of keeping a natural looking white part of the eye. You don't want it to all be this solid white clump. So smooth really helps kind of lessen the impact. Now we're gonna pop back in with white and really quick since the whole white of the eye is now white, even though it's not white white. 
um, now you could go in and use whiten. Once you correct that redness, you can pop in with whiten and kind of brighten it up. You see. Um, I don't like the way this lower part of her eye is looking. It looks a little bit low. I might have gone in with a little bit too much of the white tone. So I'm just going to use the refine in the reshape tool and just bump that part of the eye up just a little bit just to make it... I know it's so subtle, but I'm, I'm a weirdo like that. So the white part looks so much better. I'm going to pop in with detail, hit her iris, her pupil, make that eye pop. Very, very nice and crop this up and so this video is just the eye i'm just kind of showing you how to whiten a red eye because it happens to us a lot so that is all this video is on i hope you like it i hope that helps you kind of achieve a natural looking edited photo where it's not so noticeable that it's edited hope it helps